This was certainly a trip of a lifetime for the 4th Herald crew, and excitement levels were extremely high. But at the same time, they were heading out into the great unknown and had quite the adventure ahead of them. Really big part. We're this close. You guys can see where we're at. Hopefully you can see what we came in. And that's where we landed. hours we have to get to. And the horses are out there with the heel hobbled. Uh oh, yeah, not everybody's good looking, but we had, <laughs> had to bring some other people with us. Dinner. We are really roughing it, aren't we? We're hungry. This is pretty rough. Yeah, we're roughing it. That's why the blueberry pie is over yeah. there. Want to see why Rob's got a smile on his face? Let's, yeah. I can zoom from here. Uh huh. Yeah, this looks great. Yeah, this is pretty rough. Did you find them? Yeah, not yet. There's a couple goats we saw last night up on the hillside, far side, but. Unfortunately, wow, I can smell breakfast suddenly. Uh, wind is coming from there today. It's going up the canyon, but breakfast is being cooked in there. You can smell it. There's our water supply. And uh, there's a shower up there, too, but we didn't do too well with the shower. It's just a bucket that you put water in and you stand underneath it. But you can see the canyon. But this morning, we're going to head down canyon, and we have like 20 miles yesterday. Yesterday we ended up uh, riding about 17 miles according to all of our GPS's. Um, zigzag all over. Today's supposed to be 20 more. They're saying it's a little bit harder. There's some steeper areas. The trail isn't as open. So we're going to be, they're saying, seven, eight hours of horseback. Um, yeah, we're really looking forward to it, especially David. He's doing really well. So hopefully. Next time we turn it on, we'll be looking at some type of animal or something like that. But today, for the most part, is another ride day. We'll get back to where we belong. Yeah. It's supposed to be six hours today on a horse. Doesn't sound. It's first six hours on a horse. Doesn't sound too bad. Ever. <laughs> right. That was kind of fun. I think we might stop for a potty break. Four more hours to go, maybe? At least. One of those big hills, too. Yeah. Over here? Yep. We think we might have seen some goats up in there. One of them. It hurts the red horse, huh? Yeah. My knee is numb again. But it's nice to see a goat. Yeah. So we're getting there. We're getting closer to the right spot. This segment is brought to you by 4th Arrow Camera Arms. That was a really big hill. It took a lot longer than we... Yeah, so now we're gonna just go up. Yes. It is harder than it looks. So we're gonna, gonna go up. So. We're gonna go up uh, 30 minutes and we're gonna clear a spot in the woods and sleep. So That means hammock night. Yeah, everybody's dream come true. <laughs> you can have mine if you want. Right on the ground. So, here we go. I'm gonna get some pine boughs. It's must. getting dark already too. Yeah, time we get there. What's happening? Past the so, door camp. Yep. So guess who gets to sleep in his hammock with his rain? This guy. And guess who gets to sleep <laughs> on the ground? This guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he has a hammock. <laughs> you know, but I, he left it back. But there. I carried my sleeping bag in my box like I was supposed to. I did too. Sweden, yeah. too. And, and my hammock. <laughs> so we'll show you the pictures of how tough we are later on about what we had to walk over to get here. And how <clears throat> there are no other men in the world who could have done this. No, we are the toughest. We are the toughest. <laughs> Climb the low crown. Okay. Number three. We just came out of the bottom of the canyon. David and them are going up this way. We're going up this way. I got Robert and Mark with me. Load, Robert. Robert, load. Woo! <laughs> hey, what a day! That came fast. Congratulations, Mark. Words cannot describe how Mark felt at this moment. Although that feeling that was inside him as he made that walk up to his very first goat was worth a thousand words. Tell me about it. Okay. Well, we started out this morning. We split up with Dave, with, with um, me, Dad, and Robert going up this, and we came up the hill first, and we veered down again, and we went up to another little ditch kind of area, and sat there for a good half hour, and then uh, from that, we climbed out the rest of the mountain, way above everything, and sat there. We were actually watching David and Gabe and them, as we thought they might be able to get a ch chance at something, but we don't really know what happened because they're so far away. We believe it has 10-inch horns on it around there and around seven, eight years old. So, beautiful. Great trip. <laughs> After packing out Mark's goat, and with more billies in sight, the crew got right back after it and put their boots to the ground. Well, as it turns out, the goat that they originally spotted was in a hard-to-reach location, much like many of them in this terrain. So the crew decided to once again hop on the horses and adventure on to the next. Oh, those are so reachable. It's nice to see something that feels like it's really reachable. <laughs> Doesn't feel like... This segment has been brought to you by Windsent.
So everything's really wet and slippery. As soon as the goat went over the hill, luck would have it that two more showed up not too far away. I got it if you end up. Good job. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> what kind of a day have we had? Dave and I have been walking all over these hills. I mean, Brahms just up and down. If you turn around and see, we start over in that valley over behind Gabe. You want to show him? And we walked all the way across about that level. All the way across. Our feet hurt so bad right now. All the way around, way behind this hill, chasing after another one. Okay. Yeah, hard going. Well, I saw the better beer on the second one, so I was like, okay, I know for a fact that the one's up. It's unbelievable. We walked a long ways today. I'm sure Gabe has his tracking, so he'll find out the official number. But basically, this one was the farthest one away that we could see. We were chasing uh, two other ones that's on our way here. And, like the first one spotted us, went up the mountain higher, we couldn't get at him. The second one, um, I thought we had a good chance with him, but just I mean, it just wasn't going to be a good shot. And so at this point, Gabe and I were exhausted following the guide around. We just walked their legs off. But it obviously paid off. Um, yeah. Uh, he went around the corner to check out some stuff. Gabe and I were pulling up. And next thing you know, this guy pops his head out. There was another guy. And there we go. You want to grab him? This segment is brought to you by Fourth Arrow Camera Arms. See the watch. It's Wednesday, 8.31, 11.44 in the morning. You can hear the stream going to and it's still raining. Um, this is the camp we've been at. Came in last night. The horses are out just walk in the valley getting whatever they want. 
as you can see, they're all mountains there. Mountains aren't doing very good right now. We can't see them for goats. So what we're actually doing, this is a great big valley that they say a lot of moose travel through. So we're spending the day taking turns going out and looking for moose, seeing if there's something around. Robert's looking for another goat, and of course the bonus would be a, a grizzly bear or, or maybe one moose if we run into one in the next couple days. But we're not going to run into a whole lot of them, and we can't really go a whole lot of places because it's just so junky out. It's finally brightened up a little bit, so maybe next time you see this on, we'll be wandering around. I'll be chasing Robert up a hill. And we know there's goats up in these mountains next to us. We saw them here a couple days ago, and that's why we came back this way, but we'll see. After two days of heavy rains and fog-covered mountains, and two additional days spent scouting looking for that final goat, the crew has finally found him and has put their boots back on the mountain. some yards. Dropped them. That adds inches to it, by the way. So whatever the horns are, you add inches for every yard you shot. So Mark's is only one inch. <laughs> Good shooting. <Woo>. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> Cameraman? You got it. Oh. I just couldn't be there with us, but... We yeah. were just below you. You got some really good tape. No, I heard you put her. I heard oh, you. He's not even running away. We kind of just walked up on him. I heard you wrecked <laughs> your, your rifle. I left him at the horse. And here, I have my third pair. I think I'm tired now. <laughs> it's okay. You can breathe as hard as you want now. Yeah. Sheesh. Well, you didn't go. You didn't want to.